Hey guys, what's up? This is Afro Mix Android Pulse here for Joyshark.com with another Android app review for you guys of by far the best launcher in the Android market. It's called Launcher Pro by Federico Carnalis, and this is just absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know what a launcher is, it's pretty much when you tap menu to unlock your phone and you get to where you can customize the three home screens, pull down the notification bar, go into your app drawer and all that. That's your launcher. And what this actual launcher does is go in and just adds in a ton and a ton of really cool features that the stock Android 2.2 launcher does not have. So let's take a look. Alright guys, so here we have my actual launcher setup. I am indeed using Launcher Pro right now. I just want to show you guys some of the settings there are first. To get to the settings, of course you need to install the launcher. Tap menu. And when you do so, you'll be able to jump into preferences. So here are preferences. As you can see, there's general, home screen, dock, behavior, appearance, and advanced settings. And when you scroll down, you can unlock the pro version of this. There's the version you're currently using. You can restart the launcher, backup home screen and settings, or restore backup settings. And then you can even reset all the defaults if you've customized things that you don't like. So let's go ahead and take a look at these insanely extensive settings. Going into general, first off, one of the really cool features is that you can hide apps. So just tap on hidden apps. And what's cool about this is when you scroll down the list and you see some applications you don't want to uninstall or some default apps that come on the phone that you can't uninstall, all you have to do is check it, hit save, hit yes to restart the launcher. And now when I go home, again, everything's just restarted. When I go into my app drawer and scroll down to try to find Twitter, it's not there. I've completely hidden the application, which is one of the coolest features of the actual launcher. Going back into preferences, you can also keep the, um, the launcher in memory, which just means that the, when the RAM is being used up, it won't kill the launcher, so it won't have to load everything. It'll kill something else. You can enable scrollable widgets, which of course requires the widget that you've downloaded to be scrollable and support it. And then if you're on Motorola Droid, you definitely want to check that box. Next is the home screen settings. Uh, you can change the number of home screens. You can go all the way to 7, all the way down to 1. So just to show you guys, I'll go to 7, and you can change your default screen, which so middle is 4 when you're at 7. And when you restart and you go home, now I'll be able to scroll between 7 home screens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I personally think that is really cool to be able to customize how many screens you have. So just going back, I'm going to go ahead and set it back to 5, and back to 3 for the default, restart it. And there we go, I'm back to having 5 home screens. One, two, three, four, five. So it works very, very well and very, very easy to do. Going into the dock settings, this is one of the really cool features as well. I'm going to go ahead and put it on three docks. And I'm going to restart and show you guys what this dock does. Down there is your dock. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of plus symbols. And look at that. You can actually scroll through your dock. So where your dock is, where your application drawer is, you can actually place four of your favorite icons down there. And if you want more, you just scroll to the left or scroll to the right. And you can place up to 15 separate icons down there. And I think that is just absolutely amazing to be able to customize that. Really, really cool feature. Allows much more space to be used on the actual home screens themselves. Going back into preferences, going back into dock settings. One of the cool things, if you have any missed calls, missed SMS or missed Gmails, um, it'll come up with a little indicator on it if it's on the dock, which is cool. Going into behavior settings, as you can see, you can have auto rotation on without sliding over the keyboard. You can change what your home key does when you actually press it. As you can see, I have it on do nothing, but you can have it open and close screen previews, open and close app drawer, open and close notifications, or show and hold status bar, which is kind of, which is kind of cool. And then you can make the home key just go to the default screen. Going to advanced settings is where things get a little more advanced. You can even change your dock background. So first I'm going to put it on glass and just show you guys down there. It's just a little glass dock icon. You can hardly see it with this wallpaper, so I'll go ahead and change it. So it's just a little bit of glass down under where my dock is. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go back into appearance settings and go into dock settings. You can even have Froyo wide. So you know Froyo gives you those little squares around two of your icons. Well this one will give you all four around your dock. So it's like a cool little Froyo looking thing but it's wide so it goes across the entire screen. Um, and one of the cool things with the appearance settings you go into dock background, you can even have custom. So you do need to have custom Launcher Pro docks downloaded. And here I have a pretty cool Guitar Hero 1. So just show you guys this. Now it looks like all my apps are on separate Guitar Hero things. So just really, really cool features when it comes to the dock down there. 
come back into the appearance settings. You now have a show screen indicator, so I have it on right now, just to show you guys what that is. When I scroll, there's a little line down there, and when I scroll through, it just lets me know where I am on my home screen. So that's a cool feature. Going back into preferences and appearance settings, you can hide the notification bar, which will turn the notification bar off when you're on the home screen. You can have a home button on the app drawer, which is just when you're in the app drawer. That's the home button right there. You can turn that on or off, which is really cool. Going back into the parent settings, you can uh, hide the icon labels, which is just the name of the app. You can hide it. You can disable wallpaper scrolling, which as you can see now when I scroll on my home screen, the wallpaper stands completely still. Uh, most phones do this. One of the cool things about Android is that it doesn't do that, so I never really have that on unless it's a live wallpaper. If you're using a live wallpaper, you should definitely turn that on because it just makes everything so much smoother. You can even change all the different highlight styles and colors when you actually press an application. So that's really cool. And here are the advanced settings, the big things. You can change the memory usage settings, which I recommend you don't touch if you don't know what you're doing. You can have five icon rows on the home screen. Um, it requires widescreen, which means you're on the left side like this. Um, which means, of course, you'd have to be home. And with, as you can see, the launcher does indeed work in landscape when you have that option checked, like I showed you a little bit earlier. Uh, so that's definitely cool. And if you have that, you can have the five different icons on the home screen. So just to show you guys that real quick, we go and rotate back, go to preferences, go to advanced, go to five icons, restart. And now when I rotate my phone, I can actually go into here and I can place another different icon and have five on the home screen. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, doesn't work very well on small screens, so I don't recommend you do that. And uh, it does, of course, cause lag, so I just turn it off. Uh, you can turn elastic scrolling on, which is basically just when you turn that on, go back and I'll restart the launcher. Hit yes. Um, now, as you can see, when you scroll, it kind of gives a bounce effect, like I can pull past my last screen and it just kind of bounces. That's elastic scrolling. It just means it gives it a little bit more smoother effect in a way, but I personally don't really like it that much, so I have it off. You can have high quality scrolling on, which of course uses more RAM and things, and you can even change the minimum scrolling speed. This is a 3D drawer, and I have it on because I love it, but as you can see, when you have it off, it's just a regular scrolling app drawer, no 3D effect at all. Um, but I always have it on. It's just too cool of a look. And one of my favorite things about the 3D drawer on Launcher Pro is what people complained about on the stock launcher is gone. So when you have 3D drawer on and you scroll through, as you can see, it doesn't bounce. It doesn't have that annoying bounce effect. It's just very smooth scrolling. Small scrolls through extremely smooth without a hitch. So very, very, very nice. Going back to advanced settings. You can change how many columns or rows that are on your app drawer, and you can change the opening speed. So it's just extremely extensive, and all in all, let's just go ahead and take a look at the launcher experience itself. Very, very smooth, very quick. Um, one of the cool things, if you do the HTC Sense pinch option, you get the home screen previews. Uh, again, you know, very, very smooth application drawer. Everything about this launcher is absolutely phenomenal, and it's all in all my favorite. It's always used on my phone and always will be. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this Android app review of my favorite launcher in the Android market, Launcher Pro Beta. Um, really, it does not seem beta at all. There's very, very rare occasions that I can have any problems with this. It's just great. It's an amazing launcher and I recommend you guys download this on any phone you have. It even works on the G1, so great launcher and I love it. Thanks for watching this Android app review. This is Al from It's Android Volts. Make sure you guys check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash it's Android Volts. And I'll see you guys in my next drawercheck.com Android app review.